I've been avoiding putting up reviews for these uh, 720p sunglasses that I bought uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, the most important of the reasons is I, I really wasn't that impressed with them. But I didn't want to jump to conclusions until I at least tried a second SD card in them. So let me explain what I was seeing before. Uh, with a 16 gig SD card in these glasses, which are, I wish I had the box so I could show it to you, um, which are called Remote Control 720p HD Spy Sunglasses Camera with 170 degree field of view. Um, I bought, it off, bought them off eBay. Uh, they cost me $60. So when I used a 16 gig uh, S micro SD card in them, uh, I was losing frames all over the place and they would, I don't know if it, you'd call it hanging, but sometimes go 15 seconds or more with no video captured and then come back on and start recording again sometimes 30 seconds um, it was fairly random I would have loud popping sounds in the middle of my videos so basically uh, I couldn't trust them to record anything so yesterday I tried putting a 4 gig micro SD card in instead from a different device and most of the problems went away I still am not a huge fan of these, but at least the problem where you get big chunks of scene missing is gone, uh, which means that these will probably suit my purpose for being able to record my uh, remote control plane flights. So let me tell you uh, what I do like about them. There is a fairly wide field of view uh, a little bit better than the old uh, video sunglasses that I used to have. Uh, the picture quality is slightly better than my old ones, which weren't 720p. The picture quality is not as good as a Mobius or even as good as an 808-16 um, keychain. So at $60 versus $40 for the 808 keychain, I'd have to say the keychain is a better value drop in 10 or 15 dollars for the sunglasses and it's it's almost a wash so uh, but, but again the 808 keychain the 808 16 takes better video problems that they have when I watch the video with this even with the uh, the different SD card the one that seems to work better it almost looks to me like video is taken at a frame rate less than 30 frames a second now when I look at the properties it says 30 frames a second but it almost seems to me like this is 15 frames a second or something uh, seems to have a very low uh, refresh rate. The other problem is right off the bat the audio is out of sync um, making it uh, one of the things I wanted to use these for was wearing them during build videos and then have another camera angle so I'd kind of have a first person view of, of what I'm doing when I'm building a plane and then other camera angles that could come in for for detail shots and stuff like that. Now the software that I use PowerDirector allows you to synchronize video clips by the audio. But if the audio is out of sync to start with, synchronizing using the audio isn't going to help you. So that's a that's a little bit of a letdown. So let me kind of, I'm, I'm not going to go through what the different functions are. I want you to see the shape of them, uh, what, what they kind of look like. Just try and give you an idea. Maybe that's a little bit better with the lighting there. See the, the lens in the middle? It's kind of a larger lens than my other ones were a pinhole. This is more like a Mobius style lens. That's where you get your wide field of view. Um, there is the connector for the computer and there is the SD card. And let me see. I can pull this connector out so you can see it. This is this would be the dead giveaway that you're probably getting these ones. The USB plug also comes with RCA jacks um, on the same cable for you to be able to watch the video I assume on a, on a TV. And then it's a special connector on this end. It's not one that I have with any of my other devices. I don't know if you can make that out. Maybe you can. It has, when I turn it on here, a flashing blue light on the inside. It tells you it's recording. 
one button on and it starts recording, one button again and it stops recording, hold the button to turn it off. The, there were no instructions on how to remove the timestamp in the video, um, although I did find them, uh, I, I can't remember where, it was a while ago, but I was able to find online just looking up similar goggles, how to how to create the text file and how to get rid of the timestamp. I have no instructions on other things, how to change frame rate, size, anything like that. They separate your video at 10 minute intervals, so after 10 minutes is up, you'll get a new file. And I wish I could change that as well, but like I said, I don't have any instructions on how to change those things and none came in the, the box or with the manual. So okay, I'll go from here to an actual clip of running these. I, um, I was out using the snowblower on the rink and I decided to do a 15 or 20 minute video to see if there were any hiccups to test out the card. So this will tell you the audio quality now with the 4 gig card, which is much better than it was before. And the video quality you'll be able to see as the snow is shooting out of the snowblower, kind of the, the low, lower frame rate type of effect that, that I think I was getting. You almost see a shearing effect as the snow is coming out of the chute of the snowblower. Alright, thanks for watching. So I put a new micro SD card in the 720p sunglasses and I did a small test last night about two or three minutes and it didn't seem to glitch at all as far as dropping frames or just skipping video altogether. So I'm going to do about a 10 or 15 minute test here while I'm snow blowing the rink and I'll bring it in and uh, see what the results are and if it looks good I'll post it. I guess I ran out of gas. Ignore the garage. You ever spilled gasoline on a rink? I dare say it's not good for it. <laughs> so, let's throw that there. That should be enough to get us through. Ah, uh, maybe a little more.
got to remember that it's middle of March. Generally, we don't have this kind of snow this time of year. Usually at this point I'd be saying, well, maybe we'll have one more small snowfall and winter's done. But the way this winter's been, who knows? And...